more impactful Tacoma mods. Yeah, hopefully. Everybody, how are you today? Pretty good here, and that's right. I've got two more, hopefully, impactful mods coming up for the Toyota Tacoma. I wanted to show you guys. Now, before we get started, I need to ask a favor. If you like the channel and you're watching this video, please go ahead and click that subscribe button. It helps out the channel, and I would really appreciate it. Now, what am I talking about? Well, one, I've already mentioned on the channel, so we're not gonna go into great detail about it, but the reason I'm gonna do this now, I'm gonna actually do it sort of in conjunction with, uh, with the other mod that I'm gonna tell you about here in just a minute, and that is, or are, the black door handles. You know, I've decided after my little experiment, if you watch the channel, you saw my little uh, electrical tape experiment, uh, but I've decided to go ahead and put those door handles on the truck because I kind of dig them. And since I'm gonna be doing this other mod anyway, it's gonna hopefully make it a little bit easier to do. So what is this other mod? Well, it deals with the sound system. You know, a while back and probably one of the first mods that I did in my Tacoma was to upgrade the tweeters in the front to those Subaru tweeters, right? You know, the ones that everybody talks about, the probably the ones that everybody does. And they make a huge improvement in the sound system in the truck. It just makes the music, the sound a little bit richer, a little bit deeper. And I like my sound to be rich and deep, right? When I'm listening to my 80s music, I wanna be able to hear it. So I decided to go one step further and, uh, and complete the job, if you will. I did put kicker speakers in the front doors. And I gotta say, I wasn't really overly impressed, to be honest, but I haven't completed the whole package yet. So what I've done is I went ahead and I ordered some new speakers for the rear. And I'm gonna show you guys what these are. I got them from Crutchfield. Um, I am not sponsored by Crutchfield, but hey, if you Crutchfield guys are watching, email me. Uh, but anyway, let's take a look at what's in the box, right? First of all, in their little kit, and this is what I love about Crutchfield, they send you everything you need, right? They sent me the uh, little spacers, I guess you will, to put, the, to put the speakers on, to mount them in the holes. So this is included in the package. They also included um, the little wires, the harnesses that you need to be able to plug into the existing system without having to cut any wires or anything. It just has the little uh, hook, or not hook, but the little plug here. Uh, I believe it's the female end. And then the wires that just plug over the speaker terminals themselves. Very handy, makes the job really, really easy. Now, this is what I've got. I did go uh, because I've heard good things about these and I wanted to stay pretty much uh, the same as far as the setup that I have, but I went with the kicker speakers. All right, these are 300 watt max, um, six and three quarter inch, you can see right here, six and three quarter inch coaxial speakers. Uh, I do like the looks of them, and I know, who cares? I mean, let's be honest, once they're in there and they're behind that door card, you're never going to see them again anyway, so who cares what they look like? But I got to admit, did play a little bit of a role in what I chose. Uh, they do seem to be pretty sturdy, I'll tell you, they are pretty darn heavy in the box. They are, looks like, hermetically sealed. <laughs> I don't know why. Let's go ahead and pop this open. I haven't opened these myself, so... I don't even know what's in the box. There's a little bit of information and stuff on the back. If you want, you can maybe read that for your reading pleasure. I'm not gonna read it to you. But let's go ahead, pop this open, and just take a quick look uh, at what these speakers look like in real life. Again, I'm very curious to see that myself. Hopefully I've got the box the right way. I don't think it really matters. Um, some verbiage, they give you some little splitter or connectors. We don't need those. Some more verbiage. 
It says here the, to stop, uh, Kicker Tech uh, can assist you. Well, if you need it, I suppose it's there for you. Let's see if we can't rip this off gently without destroying everything. There we go. Oh, and there's another piece right underneath. Let's see if we can do the same thing. I like to keep everything nice and uh, tidy until I really rip into it. Okay, there we go. Now, hopefully, the speaker doesn't just fall right out of there because, you know, that would that would suck. Uh, but there you go. There's what it looks like. Again, nice, sturdy, heavy speaker. And then if we turn it over, look at the size of the magnet on the back of this thing. I mean, it's massive, especially compared to what we currently have in the truck, which is horrid. This thing is huge. I love that. Um, all the hardware and stuff, which hopefully we won't need other than to screw it into the... Uh, spacers that they included with it and then they also give you a little bit of wiring which again uh, we really shouldn't need uh, because we have the harness that came with it so that's what they look like of course there are two of them be kind of a drag if you only got one right i think that would be some kind of a problem uh, i am going to stick it back in the box here just to keep it nice and safe until i do the install which will be coming up there will be an install uh, both on the speakers and on the door handles themselves. Uh, if you've watched the previous videos, then you know my hesitation in doing the door handles is actually the rears. The fronts are pretty simple to do, I think. I've actually changed out the fronts before on the Toyota Tundra, and that was pretty simple, and I think this is going to be a, a pretty, pretty much the same install, really. I don't think there's gonna be any issue in doing that. So it's the rears and since, uh, as I mentioned, I'll have the, the cards off anyway to do these speakers, should make it a lot simpler to do the rears uh, as opposed to trying to fiddle around in the little slot there like I was kind of thinking about doing before. So we shall see, stay tuned for that. Um, hopefully it makes a, a vast improvement in the sound. I gotta say with the tweeters that I have in there now, the sound really is pretty good, but why not go that extra mile, complete the whole package. I have kickers in the front doors now and uh, see what the most is that I can get out of this system, I guess, with the kicker setup. Anyway, leave a comment, let me know. I'd be curious if you've changed out your tweeters. Uh, number one, what did you think of that? And number two, if you've gone to the full setup and I'm talking about a setup that's just utilizing the stock radio head unit and, uh, and nothing else. So no amps or you know crossovers, nothing crazy like that. I'm not looking to get that involved. I don't know that much about it to begin with, so I, I don't wanna screw it up. Uh, but I'd be curious to know if just changing out the speakers made a big difference for you and if you're satisfied with the way your system is now. Leave a comment, let me know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I have two additional channels, Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator, and Rob Motive Civic, about my experiences with the Honda Civic Type R and the Honda Civic Sport Hatchback. Check them out if you're interested. Why not subscribe? Once again, don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos like this speaker install. And don't forget to click the subscribe button so that you are subscribed to the channel. Why not? I assume you're here because you like it. I don't know. Anyway, appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time on the web. Bye.